So we're underneath the hood right now in the engine compartment. And uh, I just want to show you what we're going to do, what the game plan is. So this is our uh, coolant reservoir or, or, or on Fords, they call them uh, degas bottles. So your radiator is right here. But you have this coolant reservoir that's off to the side, and this is where you're going to add coolant. And this is where you would check your coolant. In our case, we have a leak um, on the coolant reservoir. I believe we've got some kind of crack or something on this reservoir, so it needs to come out and we need to replace it. So let's look at it and get a game plan together what we're going to do to get this out of here. So first, we know we need to disconnect these hoses. We have a hose here, a hose here. If you look down here, there's another hose that's right there that's got to come out of there. So I believe those are all the hoses. And then we've got some fasteners that are holding it. This is holding um, this side right here. We have a notch that's right here. It looks like that's just going to slide up. And there is another fastener right here on the back side that we're going to have to remove. So after we remove that fastener, that coolant reservoir should come up. Um, we're going to position a catch pan right underneath this. Uh, you're more than welcome to go down under the vehicle and there's a drain valve on the radiator or you could remove the lower radiator hose to, uh, to drain it. But we're going to drain it right here because since this had a leak in it and this is uh, the warmer part of the year, uh, there's been mostly water running through this. But we're going to catch it with our uh, our catch pan underneath the vehicle. You want to be very careful with engine coolant because it is it is is harmful to to people, to animals, to pets. So to pets. So you want to make sure you catch that. So let me get let's start to disconnect this top side, and then we'll go to the fasteners, and I'll be right back. First up, let's remove the cap from our coolant reservoir. I'm just going to turn this. Be careful here. Make sure you don't have any coolant jump up at you. Be careful here. Make sure you don't have any coolant that spews out. And in our case, yeah, we're pretty much uh, low. So I'm going to move this to the side. Then I'm going to come back and get a, uh, got a quarter inch socket. I've got my extension with my quarter inch ratchet and let's remove these uh, cable. I mean, sorry, these uh, hose clamps that are right here. Loosen these up. Pull these off to the side. Tighten that clamp up so we don't lose it. Let's take this other one. Move this clamp. I'm just twisting it off with my with my fingers here. Come straight off. And I'm gonna take uh just gonna tighten this up on here. So we don't lose it once we set it off to the side. So it doesn't come off. Yeah, good. That's it. So let's set this off to the side. Uh, now let's see what ne what's next. I want to go for this clamp that's down here. So uh, let me get you positioned and I'll be right back. Got my drip pan here. My catch pan. I'm going to take it and position it right underneath the vehicle right there so we can catch catch some of that coolant that comes out so I've got you positioned on that uh, bottom hose and we're gonna go and loosen that hose clamp and what I have is a 5 16 quarter inch socket uh, I've got my extension and I've got my ratchet so this is my whole setup so let's get in here see if we can remove it I'm gonna shoot straight down here And you remember I got that catch pan down there to catch any coolant or water that comes out of here. So 
So we've got that loose. Now let's see if we can uh, get this hose off of here. Yeah, so the hose is, the hose clamp is definitely loose. I'm moving that out the way. But now we got to get this hose out of here. There you go. I was able to simply push that hose off. And that's the hose right here. So you see we got our hose pushed out to the side and we're not getting much uh, cooling coming out of here because again, we have that leak. So good thing we're doing this. So I got my hose position here. We have our coolant uh, reservoir here. We've got all our hoses removed. Now let's go ahead and uh, go after these fasteners, and I think we'll start with this one right here. Let me get the right tool set up, and I'll be right back. So what I've got here is a 10 millimeter uh, wrench, and we're going to use this to get this out of here. Got it out by hand. Now let's get it out of here. All right, this is our 10 millimeter fastener. Fastener. I'm gonna go ahead and set this to the side. Now we need to go after the fastener that's over here. So let me get you positioned, and we'll be right back. Okay, now I've got a 11 millimeter uh, socket and we're going to remove this fastener here on the uh, opposite side. So uh, let's go ahead and get position. Just broke it free. Now I'm just using my hand to back it off. Coming off. It's got a little washer on here, so let's get this washer off. All right, I'm gonna have to come to the other side to get this washer. Come to the other side here. Sorry if I'm in your way. Let's get this washer off of here. Apologize if I'm in your way here. There we go. So yeah, I was just trying to walk this washer off and I got it off of here. We got our washer off. We got all our fasteners removed. Now I think we can simply pull up on this coolant reservoir. So let me get you repositioned and we'll be right back. So we've got everything loosened. We've got our hoses off. We've got our fasteners off. Now let's go ahead and pull up on this reservoir and get it out of here. There we go. So here's our res reservoir and it's out of here and I'm just looking it over and see, do I see any cracks and leaks? And I think that's our that's our problem right there. Do you see that? I think that was the crack that's causing us some issues right in there. So let's go ahead and uh, put this to the side. I'll show you the new one. Let's compare them and get the new one installed. We'll be right back. So now we're looking at the old uh, coolant reservoir, comparing it to the new one and just looking it over to make sure that um, it is the part uh, that's going to fit here. Make sure all the uh, 
places where the hoses are going to go match up make sure that the mounting holes where our fasteners are going to go matches up and it looks good you want to do this whenever you um are swapping out parts because you don't want to wait till you get under the hood and you're working to realize you've got the wrong part or the part doesn't fit um now is the time to uh, make that discovery so you can make the necessary arrangements to get the right part but i'm just looking this over it looks good everything matches up let's go ahead and get this installed we'll be right back now we're going to go ahead and get our new coolant reservoir put in let's go ahead and uh i'm not going to fasten it down all the way but i am just going to go ahead and get uh get it positioned and before we fasten it down all the way i think the first thing i'm going to do is try to connect some of these hoses uh because that this hose right here at the bottom is going to be the most difficult so let's go ahead and get this hose on and then we can just mount it after that so let me get you positioned and we'll be right back so let's go get this coolant reservoir positioned now well try to stay out of out the way here um Making sure all our bolts and everything get lined up. I think we're good now. Now we need to take this hose uh, that's right here and let's go ahead and uh, get it connected. Let me get you positioned and I'll be right back. So I've got you positioned. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, slide this, slide this hose on here. There we go. I got you positioned there. Let's go ahead and get this hose on here. To help me uh, get this hose on a bit easier, I'm kind of fighting it. I'm going to use some silicon spray, some heavy-duty silicon spray, and I'm going to just spray it on there. I barely have enough in this can, but I think I've got enough to do what I need to do. So what I'm going to do is just spray this. So I've given this a few spritz of, uh, so I've sprayed this with my silicone spray. Now let's try it again to get this hose on here because I was, I was fighting it a little bit. So my whole pies are clean. <clears throat> there we go. Now we now we talking. Now we cooking with gas, like my granddaddy used to say. There we go. Now we cooking with gas. Got it. Remember my granddad used to saying that working on the car with him. Now we cooking with gas. So now I need to put my hose clamp on here. I kind of waited to the end uh, to do this. So let's get this hose clamp positioned. Can you all see that? I'm working right there. So now let's get this hose clamp positioned on here. It's already opened up, so let's go ahead and slide it on. I just wanted to give you a view and show you that we do have this hose uh, positioned real well. See, we got it moved up until it butts up against um, the reservoir, so now we know we got it pushed up all the way. Now I'm just going to come in with my hose clamp and push it all the way to that neck so we can tighten it. Hold on and we'll be right back. We're back, we're using our 516 right here and let's tighten up on our hose clamp. It's down here. So I don't wanna to go too snug, I'm gonna go snug, just a little bit more, just like that. Take my 
slot in my notch right here. everything in position so I think we're ready now to go ahead and uh, get our fasteners and let's go ahead and tighten this up um, let's start off with the one right here let's go ahead and get it started hold on I'll be right back y'all I'm back it's been a while for me I know it's been a few seconds for you so let me get you caught up on what's going on we've got this fastener tight on this side so i take I took my 10 millimeter tighten it up over there now on this side I ran into an issue this is the screw, the fastener that's supposed to go in there, and there's like a clamp-on nut on the other side that this is supposed to get going to. When I tried to tighten it back up, something happened with that clamp-on nut. I don't know if it stripped out on the inside, what the deal was, but I was not making good contact. So I was not able to get this screw in there. Just thinking about what I wanted to do. Did I want to go in here and pull this tire off and take the... Uh, take the little weathering off and try to go in there to that backside and put a nut. That's what I'm eventually going to have to do. I said, man, can I put one of these in here for the time being? But I needed a temporary solution because this car has got to get on the road tomorrow and leave me. So what I decided to do is to put some zip ties right here. It's not ideal. Um, these zip ties may not take the weather and the cold and all that very well, but it is a stopgap solution. They can get the car uh, operable tomorrow, get it down the road, and then in a week or so I'll look at it again and uh, may have to put something like this on there and come back and put a nut on this backside. So this is just a temporary solution that I have. Instead of doing just one zip tie, I put three zip ties here just in case one fails and we'll keep an eye on this. So now I think we're ready to put these hoses on. There's one here and one right here. Let me get you set up and I'll be right back. We're back. Let's go ahead and get these hoses on here. I'm going to use a little bit of this silicone spray. Whenever you have issues with hoses and trying to get them on, a bit of silicone can help you out. I'm just going to spray that right there. I'm going to take this one, put that on very good. Do the same thing on this back side. Spray that down with a little silicone spray. Come in here, let's slide this on. Let's make sure these, these hose clamps are positioned where we want them. And let's go ahead and tighten. Don't want to over tighten these. So you don't want to crack, crack that plastic. So once you feel this, feel some resistance on here, it gets tight on you. That's all you want to do. Once you feel that resistance and you feel it clamping down on that plastic, let off of it. Don't want to over tighten. So I'm here right now. Feeling a little resistance. There we go. Awesome. So I think we're in. Next step is we're going to add some coolant to this. I don't know if I want to do this now. We need to add coolant and we need to bleed the system. When I talk about bleed the system, that means we get got to get all the air out the system. I just don't know whether I want to do this tonight or tomorrow. But while I'm here, let's go ahead and get this done. So let's just check our work here. Before we do anything, we tighten this up. That's secure. We tighten this one up. This is secure. You know, we got our zip ties right here. We tighten up our hose right there. And we are tight back here. This thing's feel solid. Awesome. I think we're ready to put our coolant in. Hold on. We'll be right back. The next step you're going to need to take, you're going to need to bleed or burp your cooling system. We're not going to cover that in this video, but we have a whole video dedicated to how to bleed a cooling system. I'll drop some cards up above and I'll drop a link down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope this video helped you out. 
If it did, hit that subscribe button and click that bell so anytime we drop a new video, you'll be the first to know. Hit that like button and leave me some comments. I'd love to hear from you. If you're interested in any of the products we used in today's video, we'll leave some links down below. Hope you have an awesome day, and thanks for watching.